Islam came as a fully developed system. It had, apart from it having its religion, it had its theory of state, it had a language, it had a form of dress, it had a style of architecture, it had a script. And wherever it went, it tried to enforce these. And then they had the technological. That was the age when uh, the Mughals came, that was the age of gunpowder. And earlier they had the advantage of the horse with the stirrup and the horse sitting on the horse Just with the stirrup the and shooting arrows that gave them a tremendous advantage. The Indian system of warfare was elephant based. So uh, when, a, you know, when an elephant is wounded, it can turn back on its own people. And an elephant will not have the speed and the agility of the horse. But of course, the Indians realized the importance of technology and they tried to import horses like Vijayanagar, they tried, many rulers tried to import horse, horses, but the problem was that the climate of this country was not suitable to those imported breeds. So the Indians were aware. Many Indian rulers, uh, when the British came, they tried to copy their style of forming armies. But I suppose it was in a sense, a losing battle because that religious fervor is something that cannot be easily matched. But one question is that India was well connected. There were Rajmarks and all uh, from the times of, you know, you see in Mahabharat and all. So they were very well connected. And if the person comes 17 times, this is not a... Not a not but uh, many kings of India did get together. But in Thaneshwar, when it was yes. attacked. Yes. All the kings didn't come together to fight the, the invaders. All of them didn't come together, yeah. but there were instances when they did come together. But as I said, religious fervor is something very difficult to contain. And why do you talk of India? Islam destroyed yeah. the civilization in Persia. The Byzantine and the Sassanid empires were also Syria, Egypt, every place. In fact, India, they took the longest to conquer. They, within 100 years of the death of Muhammad, the Arabs had established an empire that extended over parts of Europe, up till parts of Europe, the entire Central Asia, Egypt, Iran, Syria, Iraq, all had In a gone. In very, very short time. That's what I'm saying, within 100 years. Yes. And it took them 75 years to conquer just Sindh. And from the time that they started foraying into this area and they went to Kabul Valley, etc., it took 400 years for them to establish a foothold in Punjab. When the Delhi Sultanate was established in 1206, mm. for the first 100 years, they could not add an inch of territory to what Muhammad Ghori had added because the resistance was so much. So again, there is need to look at that aspect of our past also you know, more minutely.